All right, we're here in Ventura. Last night, checked into the Airbnb. Got everything dialed in on the bike, put all new graphics. And now I'm loading up to, uh, I gotta go sign in. And then I'm doing a Samsung commercial course preview at 10 a.m. Practice is at 2 p.m. And then I guess I'm doing a Sonic commercial after that. So, busy day. Let's load up and uh, head over there and see what the hell is going on here. X Games 2024, here we go. Okay, got all my stuff. Time to go do this Samsung commercial. See how it goes on this setup. Right on, thank yeah, you, brother. Over there. Okay. What's up, guys? Filming me with Samsung, time to ride. As soon as they tell you we're done, we're done. Okay? okay. No worries. Thanks. Okay, we're done. What time? What time? Yeah, we'll just come back. We'll only go for my head buddy. So, are you okay if we do an interview with you? Yeah, of course. So, we'll just do that. Are those Colby's? I just rode the ramp a little bit, but it was not in the right position. It's like kind of making us case the top, but anyways, we got the shots for Samsung. Now I gotta go do a little interview. So the quarter pipe here in Ventura is 18 foot tall, 10 foot wide. <laughs> Shaka. <laughs> All right, just finished up with the Samsung interview. Ran into the athlete lounge, got some food. Heading back to the Airbnb right now. I only get to hang there for like 30 minutes. I head back to X Games to be there at 1. Gear up. Rider meeting at 1.30. Move the ramp. And then ride practice from 2 to 3. Alright, we're back. We got the wife with us. Welcome to X Games. <laughs> Look who made it into X Games. It's me. What up? <laughs> yeah, dude. Yeah. Um, Straight from Rawville. He's okay. in. Nah, I'm Pat, they're not. I'm not in yet. So. What's up, bro? What's up? Alright, I'm gonna gear up. All new O'Neal gear. And all the custom signature militia gear just showed up. Look at this shit. We're good, you'll be over there, right? Yeah, I'm gonna follow you over right now. Like we were just talking to the front part. Get over there and get 
ready to pull it, so whenever you guys can you ship, go park your bike or whatever. How's this setup compared to Rawville? Rawville's definitely got a bigger landing. <laughs> Gilmore, you suck, you jackass. Why don't you shut the hell up? I'd love to punch that guy in the face right now, but I can't, you know, because I'd get in trouble. Jackass. This one's for you, bud. years old this is his fifth X Games appearance. I'll tell you what, there are still a lot of skaters who can bump themselves up into that top eight. A lot of heavy hitters are below the, uh, the eighth place mark right now. So I'm, I'm assuming. All right, practice went good and uh, I feel pretty good. I think I went about as high as Creed or maybe higher, maybe not. I don't know, I'm not a, I don't have a height pole, but I'm gonna go do this Sonic commercial right now, so. See how this goes. All right, here we go. Sonic commercial. Let's go. Like even that, you could do it. Sonic, jogging my uh, my slogan, dude. Live free, ride free. So we're just cruising around in the golf cart, talking uh, politics with Sonic. Talking politics. <laughs> it's pretty dope. Jeez. It's a good time. Maybe we'll see the commercial. Practice day two, here we go. Practice yesterday was good. I went high in the air, felt really solid. Phil was yapping. Uh, it's kind of distracting, but we still got a good session in. And then uh, here we are, practice two. I'm gonna GoPro this one. That was rad yesterday when I was like, I was like, is it all the way down 80? Cause I forgot. Yeah, <laughs> so first is your map. Yeah. Two, three, four, five. So if, you know, all the way up is your practice, all the way down. You want to bring the stand? Yeah. Yeah. Congrats on Pat last night. Yeah, dude. Awesome. That was watch so it? sick, dude. No, I watched it on TV, but yeah, it was nuts. The angle that I had from the side, like, dude, he was passed upside down and backwards. Dude, it was insane. He yanked it. I mean, his head just like flips that bike upside down. 
you got your pass. Yeah, I Session number two is in the books. We're all set. I would like the ramp to be a little steeper personally, so that way we're landing a little lower from casing the knuckle. Cause if you go that high, like in a contest and you case the knuckle, I don't even know what would happen. You would totally wreck. But anyways, uh, it's all good. Everybody, it was three votes against three. So when Beerman crashed, hopefully he's all right. He left, uh, he, he walked away, so that's good, but. Uh, it was Axel, Creed, and Novice that voted the ramp stay the same in that last practice session. And then it was me, Cole from SD, and Jason Broski who all would like it to be a hair steeper. But three against three, they're leaving it where it's at. So game on. Hopefully I don't case the knuckle. Hopefully everybody's safe. Broski's in the house. What up, YouTube? How's it going? <laughs> and uh, that's it. So go home chill out watch some uh x games on tv and then show up tomorrow ready to fucking go man that's it time to switch out the plastics and break out the contest plastics time to make this thing gold last year I did gold for maybe the three peat well it worked out so I'm going gold again
breaking out the white walls. White walls? Shit. Thank you to Spectrochrome for the gold plastics. Gold plastics, white wall, tires. Shit. All right, almost done putting the graphics on this thing, but check this bike out. thing is sick um, anyways I'm gonna keep putting graphics on baby's inside sleeping we're gonna go get dinner I'll have the bike ready to go for tomorrow morning head over to the venue at noon and uh, see what happens it's comp day I'm not gonna wear my GoPro for the contest but I'll probably pull some footage from the homies or uh, the broadcast and then I'll tell you guys how I felt during the contest and give you all that info. So keep on watching. Let's see how this goes. And just sends it to the moon, wow. Vicky. Oh my gosh. You could tell. Wow. I don't know. Chest into the bars on that one. No, no, he's no 53 feet, 7 inches. Oh. Story for Colby Raha as he attempts to secure another gold medal in quarter pipe high air. Uh, I was going to say, he's down right now, and he, don't ever count this guy out because we've seen him do the come from behind win multiple times. This is it. This is going to be the last run. He's the last runner to go. Can Colby Raha get it done? So 49 feet was his best run prior. It's only good enough for fourth right now. Corey Creed on the last one. He was in the lead already, bumped it up with 53 feet, seven inches. I mean, you don't ever want to rest when you've got Colby Raha still to go behind you, but oh. Absolutely, Col Colby definitely has that mentality where he's gonna do it and he's either gonna go home with a medal or typically go home, you know, almost in an ambulance at that point, but he uh, is boosting. I, okay, so looking at the meter there, that back tire's up there at Corey Creed level. That's going to be a close This is going to be close. Like, again, if this happens again on the last attempt, it's going to be absolutely insane. Your defending gold medalist on your left, the silver medalist from last year on your right, so a 51 foot. All right. X Games 2024 quarter pipe is in the books. That was a pretty crazy contest. Basically, uh,. Just kind of went out there to see how high I could go first couple runs, just cruising. Like, didn't want to come out swinging too heavy. Um, just wanted to see where I was at. Gave it a little bit more each run. And then they said, hey, this is your last run. I kind of wish I would have sent it a little higher my third run, because then I would have known where I was at. Because when I went to send it on the last run, I gave it, you know, full throttle, hammered the ramp, came in faster, and it felt massive, but I think I could have went a little higher. Like if I got one more run, I think I could have gave it, I think I could have came in faster and smashed the ramp harder and got that extra couple feet that would have just been, you know, like undeniable for the win, maybe three, four feet higher, I don't know, but all in all, I'm stoked because I got silver. It's still uh, an accomplishment. I've barely ridden this thing for three weeks. My technique, strategy, everything's way different. The bike feels different. It feels good. I think I can win on it. Coming in, risking it, like 
switching up bikes. Like I, I passed on my Husqvarna factory bike, everything um, to try this thing out. And it was fun trying a new bike, something new, electric. And, and for me to end up second, um, controversially maybe higher. I don't know what the height measurements were like this year. I have no idea what they were doing with that. Cause on the TV broadcast, it showed that my rear tire was higher than Creed's highest air by like what, four inches or something. And the rule is, is the highest point of your bike. A few years ago, it was the center mass of your bike, but they told us in the rider meeting, it's the highest point of your bike. So I was pulling back on my bars to get the ass end of the bike to go as high as it could just strategy wise and the bike kind of likes to kick me like that anyway so it worked out in my favor but uh I don't know what they did but props to Corey Creed I think that was an awesome contest I'm happy the way it ended up all I know is I'm healthy I got a medal I've never not medaled in quarter I did it on the brand new bike I think PH is probably bummed sorry PH didn't work out in your favor Maybe get a megaphone next year or a blow horn. Okay, this is called the golf course air horn. When people tee off, when they're coming down with their uh, swing, we're gonna blow these air horns. Oh. Here, you lost your club. Sorry. Did I tell you I gonna come over here and kick your ass? Sorry, it won't happen again. All good. I got a bunch of things coming up. Raha Fest 2024, Rawville. I'm going to go for the overall quarter pipe highest air record of all time on my ramp at Rawville. If you're in the area, spectators, come out watch it live we're gonna have best whip 110 racing amateur freestyle and bmx best trick and then pro quarter pipe demo check it out subscribe to my youtube channel thank you to all my sponsors couldn't have done it without justin belrose from stark my mechanic i mean that guy was hauling around helping me out get this bike out in a short amount of time thank you justin rockstar energy o'neill metal militia claiborne Heatwave Goggles, DeVille Vodka Soda, Spectrochrome for the Gold Bike, Factory Effects, Graphics, and Chronic Tacos. Thank you to uh, my wife, Kate, being such a rad mom, and my little boy, Cannon. I'm actually loading up and heading to Australia tomorrow morning for the Freestyle Kings High Air Quarter Pipe demo with Creed and Patrick Evans. Head out of Ventura, go home, hit the airport in the morning, and uh, check out the next video. It'll be me, Creed, Patrick Evans, flying to Australia and uh, putting on a show.